All of the information and images you'll see today on our show about United States Army marksmanship badges came from our latest book, United States Army Medals, Badges, and Insignia, available for you on Amazon in both hardback and in softback. Hey, welcome. Today we want to talk about the United States Army marksmanship badges and the 18 different qualification bars that come with them. We'll talk about all three of the current badges, all of the historical badges, and we'll talk about where you can wear marksmanship badges on the new Army Green Service uniform and where you can't. So let's go. The Army first started awarding marksmanship badges in the late 1800s, and this is the earliest example that I could find. Prior to World War II, the Army had three very handsome marksmanship badges. The first, as you see on your left, was the Army Expert Rifleman Badge, now obsolete, and it was awarded to Army and Reserve personnel who qualified on a set rifle course. The badge had cross-1903 Springfield rifles over a reef of laurel leaves, and the straight suspension bar has, well, decorative ends. The word Expert Rifleman appears within the bar. While the bar was obsolete by World War II, many soldiers who'd earned it before the war still wore it since it was considered such a handsome award. The next award was the Army Sharpshooter Badge. It was also awarded to Army and Army Reserve personnel who qualified as a sharpshooter. And the badge is in silver and consists of a Maltese-like cross with the inner arms pebble. The center of the cross is a target, and the cross is suspended by rings from a suspension bar with rounded ends, and the word sharpshooter is in raised letters within the bar. The final award was the Army Marksmanship Badge, also now obsolete, and it was awarded to Army and Army Reserve personnel who qualified as marksmen, and the badge consists of a silver frame bar with round ends, and within the bar appeared the word marksman at both ends of the word are raised targets. There were also similar marksmanship awards for pistol expert, pistol sharpshooter, and pistol marksman, and often with class for when they qualified. Here's a quick overview of today's marksmanship badges. The expert marksmanship badge, then in the lower left-hand corner, the sharpshooter badge, and then on the far right, bottom right, is the marksmanship badge, each one showing a different qualification, weapons qualifications bar. Now I'll take a look at them in detail for you. Before we look at the marksmanship qualification badges, let's look at the weapons qualification bars. They were originally manufactured in sterling silver, and now they're done in a white metal of, well, nickel, rhodium, or silver. A few people still make them in sterling silver. Uh, they have rings attached at the top for attaching to the expert, sharpshooter, or marksmanship qualification badge. And they are, well, they have the following inscriptions, as you can see. They can be issued for rifle, recoilless rifle, auto rifle, small bore, bayonet, pistol, flame thrower. Can you believe that one? Small bore pistol, tank weapon, machine gun, rocket launcher, submachine gun. That'd be a tough one to earn. Grenade, well, you only got to get close with a grenade. Carbine, mortar, field artillery, anti-aircraft artillery, a missile. Uh, that's interesting. And arrow weapons, and I can't really tell you what those are. And that brings us to the star of the show, the current expert qualification badge that are authorized qualified personnel of the Army, Army Reserve, and National Guard. And it's made of oxidized silver. Well, World War II versions were made of sterling silver, but today it's a white metal, silver, nickel, or rhodium. It's a cross, or a Maltese cross, with the representation of a target in the center. It's an enclosed by a reef of laurel leaves tied at the bottom with a knot. It has two rings at the bottom for attaching a bar naming the weapon with which the recipient is qualified. Now, the reason I show you these examples, and this is testable for you, today the Army only, authorize, only authorizes three qualification bars. So you'll often see one, uh, one bar, sometimes two bars, but never more than three bars. All the marksmanship qualification badges are also available in a bright finish, which is shown on your far right with three attachments. The sharpshooter qualification badge is authorized qualified personnel of the Army, Army Reserve, and National Guard. The World War II versions were also made of sterling silver, but today, like I said before, it's a white metal, silver, nickel, or rhodium, and there's a rhodium example on the far right. It's an inch in height, and it has a cross, a Maltese cross, 
with a representation of a target in the center and two rings at the bottom for attaching the bar, naming the weapon up to three with which the recipient is qualified. This one qualification badge shown here is authorized personnel in the Army, Army Reserve, and National Guard. It's a one inch in height and is like a Maltese cross with two rings at the bottom for attaching a bar naming the weapon with which the recipient qualified. In this case you can see mortar or mortar and machine gun or mortar, machine gun, and pistol. And it also has a rhodium variation. It's also quite possible for a soldier to earn all three marksmanship badges. For example, he could earn expert as a rifleman, he could earn sharpshooter with a carbine, and he might earn the marksmanship badge with a pistol. So for each qualification bar, you can qualify with a different marksmanship badge. I'm out for just a second. I need to say thank you to Medals of America and Fountain Inn, South Carolina, for generously supporting the show and providing all of the medals and insignia that you see. They're a veteran-owned, family-oriented company. They've been in business for almost 50 years. They have a hallmark from the Institute of Heraldry and the official licenses to provide all of the awards issued by the armed forces. So they support us. We will ask you to support them. But then you say, wait a minute, Frank, the Army has more marksmanship badges than that. And you're right, there is a Distinguished International Shooters Badge that's awarded by the National Board for the Promotion of Rifle Practice for outstanding performance in major international competition. And this is a beautiful example of the Distinguished International Shooter Badge, which the military recipient, especially soldiers, can wear on their uniform. Additionally, there's the Army Distinguished Rifleman's Badge and the Army Distinguished Pistol Shot Badge, and they are awarded to Army personnel in recognition of outstanding achievement in competitive target practice firing within the military with the military service rifle. And the award requires a specific number of points, 30, obtained from competition matches. So the three highest marksmanship badges are the Distinguished International Shooters Badge, the Army Distinguished Rifleman's Badge, and the Distinguished Pistol Shot Badge. The Army did have a Team Marksmanship Badge. It's now obsolete. These badges were awarded to members of the Army Marksmanship Teams. There were three parts to the badge. They're very interesting. It has a pennant, a clasp, and a top bar. And the pennant has a bow with arrows and 13 stars around the inside of the pennant. And the, uh, uh, the background behind the stars, depending on whether it was blue for infantry, or yellow for the cav, or, well, red for the artillery. And the team clasp were in the forms of rifles or pistol or automatic rifles. And the clasp were gold, silver, or bronze. And different bars could be added to indicate core level or army level. Really unique badge, but now obsolete. While not a badge, I do have to mention the President's 100 tab, or the President's 100 tab, and that's the award that can be presented to each person who qualifies among the top 100 successful contestants in the President's matches held annually at the National Rifle Matches. Army marksmanship badges are authorized on the new Army Green Service uniform, as shown here. In this case, you could wear up to three different marksmanship badges, but no more than three qualification bars on each badge. And while the marksmanship badge is authorized on the new Army Green Service uniform, it is not authorized for wear on the Army shirt, the new Army shirt, as shown by the examples of the male and female shirt here. The Army Marksmanship Badge is also authorized on the Army Dress Blue uniform. And you can see here on the Sergeant Major's uniform, he wears his Expert Badge right after his Driver Qualification Badge. Uh, what's a Driver Qualification Badge? Well, I'll tell you. Yeah, just so you know, the Army does have a Driver and Mechanics Badge with six different class for drivers, mechanics, and operators. The Marksmanship Badge is also authorized on the Female Dress Blue uniform, as shown here. And here's a good example of the expert marksmanship badge being worn with other skill qualification badges, tabs, ribbons, and combat badges on the Army dress blue uniform. It would be worn in the same way on the new Army green service uniform. And someone is always going to pop off and say, what about the master gunner badge? Well, that's not a marksmanship badge. That's a qualification badge. 
And just to wrap things up, we'll show some examples of how soldiers have used their marksmanship qualification badges in their awards display cases. It's an example of Vietnam is another spec four from the Vietnam era. It shows his expert and sharpshooter badges. This warrant officer, along with his pilot wings and parachute badge and awards, shows his expert badge and his sharpshooter pistol badge. This spec four shows his awards and his combat qualification badges, as well as his expert rifle badge. And this Signal Corps captain shows both his expert rifle badge and his sharpshooter what does he have there? Machine gun badge. Pretty cool. Uh, once again, thank you for joining us today. Everything you've seen today came from my latest book, U.S. Army Medals, Badges, and Insignia. It's just waiting on you at Amazon. <laughs>